my husband here today. I'm excited, really. And I know you guys have missed me. Yes, we have missed you. <laughs> All right, so it's good we are here again today. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> today we've decided to talk about some myths about marriage. People have one or two misconceptions about marriage. We all have some things that we already premeditated or maybe something we've heard about marriage. Maybe through our parents or through the social media or through the through society. People, through society you know, yeah, yeah. That we, we thought that that is how marriage is really. And we want to share from our own experience some of the myths of marriage. We hope you will enjoy this video. So let's get started. <laughs> People normally believe that, you know, your love, your true love, of course, your partner will know what to say and what to do to you automatically to make you happy. Really? That's a need. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, your, your husband or your wife is not, is not a mind reader, so it's not possible for them to actually know what you want every time. I'm not saying that they can't read your body language. I'm not saying that don't know some things about you but it's not every time that they will know what you want you, know, you just have to let them know your feelings at times you have to let them know what you want okay, yeah then. yeah so I'll, i'm just going to say that don't forget that you guys are still two different personalities exactly. irrespective of how close you guys are or how much you spend your time together you still remain two different personalities the other person will not always know what is in there other partners mind at all times that's a myth and always be careful about it. that means you don't have to assume assumptions out yeah you don't have to assume every time that you can understand how i'm feeling he's supposed to do this he's supposed to do that exactly. so you just have to to voice out your opinions at times Good. i think that is one of those myths about marriage <laughs> is very quite common is that most people always believe that yes because you're married now you can actually change your spouse oh. <laughs> that one too is very common you know you're like you know when people let's say your parents are like telling you or your friends are like oh i see this about this guy and you're like no problem when we get married we i will change you. her she will change me and things like that mm -hmm. friend like i said don't forget personalities are different exactly. you guys are two different entities ha. sometimes another f very funny thing is that sometimes you know because you feel you love the person or the person feels he or she loves you they may just cover up you know they might tend to change personalities personalities are one of the very or the most difficult things to change in life know that so no matter how when you guys are, are ready into the marriage then you get to see uh, this is the reality this is who this person is yeah and the you truth know. is you can't actually change anybody you it's can't. only god that can change anyone and only if that person is ready to change himself yeah. irrespective of how much you try to change the only thing you can do is just to keep improving on your own self the only thing you can do is just to work on yourself and leave everything to God to change. So if you've noticed any character flaws in your partner and you're like, okay, when we get married, I will change it. Mm -hmm. You're on your own. Mm -hmm. You can't change it. It won't, yeah. So, Only God. Only you God, know, yes. With prayers, yes. with dedication to, you know, work on yourself and trusting God and there will be changes. marriage that people believe is mm -hmm. that happy marriages are conflict free that you know there's no <laughs> argument you know no conflict at all yeah. Yeah. every marriage is there are always arguments it depends on you know the individuals involved you guys living together you must have known each other's you know likes and dislikes how this guy behaves and how these guys think you know react to situations so when there will always be arguments, conflicts. So it depends on how you guys handle it. And that's why if you guys have lived, you know, you're already in the marriage and you want there to be peace, there should always be like a check and balance. Both of you wouldn't, no two people are right at all times, no. 
Sometimes you just have to give peace a chance, and later on you come back to you know to 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 brace out or to start to say out your point or to stress out your point. So that's it. Please. There are always conflicts. It depends on how you maturely handle it. That's, that's maturely handle it. That's exactly. It. Just like you said, I I believe that it is the way you handle the conflicts in marriage that matters. That's there will always be days that you will offend each other. That's there will always be days that you even ask yourself, Am I really married to the right man? Mm. Yeah, and there will be days that you will be you will be grateful to God and say, God, who oh, I'm happy for my marriage. Who oh, thank you for blessing. It is the way you handle the conflicts in marriage that matters. There will always be misunderstandings. There will always be arguments. But handling it maturely, just like you said, it is what is very important. And uh, something just came to my mind. I'm trying to read one of our viewers' minds. <laughs> That, okay, how do we handle it? Now, I'm just going to make an example. You know, this is what we do. No matter how hot or, you know, how the day goes for us, we don't sleep without reviewing our day. You know, yes, she might be angry with me, I might be angry with her. But before we go to bed, we go, you know, we just have to like, hey, babe, come around. Okay, I'm sorry for so, so, so time. I'm sorry for this time. And, you know, and we got that from one of our pastors. You know, he, told, he just said it while he was preaching. It's like, there is no day, irrespective, before he goes to bed. He and his wife, they just have to say something about it. And before you know it, it's gone. So when you try not to, you know, bottle keep the yeah, bottle of conflicts and yeah. offenses for the first day, second day, third day, no. No, it's going to really help you. You know, catch it out that day and let it go with that day. So I think that's that's gonna be helpful. Yeah. People do believe that Christian marriage is boring. Mm. What do you have to say about that? Of course, marriages are not boring. These are two people from different backgrounds coming together in oneness to live their lives together. So it depends on how you want it to be. That's it. Now, I don't believe, I don't subscribe to people who are not really ready for marriage. And it's not by age. No. Age does not define your readiness. Yeah, so that's why it's not, it's not by age. So it depends on, on, on how much ready you are, you know, to be able to cope together as a couple. That's it. So it's not boring. It's not boring. It depends on what you guys want, yeah. how you guys see your marriage. That's it. And you have to be intentional about it. Yeah, I'm even of the yeah. opinion that uh, fun in marriage depends on how, how you work it out for yourself. Marriage is not boring. It depends on the core of you. It depends yeah. on what you do. The fact that you are a believer doesn't mean that you should, you should have a boring life. We have to make it work for ourselves. We have to make I'm not saying you should be going to parties if you, if you don't like it. I'm yes. not saying you should be doing some things that you don't like. You know, you have to just figure out what works for you and make sure that there is fun in your marriage. And some people might even say that, okay, because of where we are living, because of the people around us, you know, we don't see anything that is that is fun about it. I know, it's, it's not about you. It depends on you. It depends on the fun that you bring into your marriage. So to me, Christian marriage, you know, is not boring. Now, when you love your, yeah, let me just add to that. When you love your spouse, have you ever seen somebody in love, truly, really in love with someone and you just feel you're bored with the person? No way. I want to tell you that. No way. No way. And sometimes if you start feeling that, then spice it up. You guys can just organize, a, you know, uh, an outing or get away yeah. with friends or even without friends just to change uh, to bring the life back into your marriage that's why i'm like it depends on how you want it marriage is not intended to be boring and when you start to feel uh, i don't feel my partner this way or this uh, or that way and you feel like talking to the person doesn't work then Organize something, spice it up, spice it yeah, up, spice it up, yeah, vacation, you know, camping, away, camp, camping exactly. you know, outings, it helps a lot, it helps a lot. Now, these are the things that not only prayer would do, you know, you can't start praying, God, ah, my marriage is boring, start praying, ah, no, 
prayer is not gonna you're gonna it's now time for you to work it out yourself of course it's not that you should start going around and say nah i feel my marriage is boring what can i do and, ha, ha. no no that's not gonna help you understand so we're, the bible says wisdom is a principal thing you know that's it i'm not gonna say more than that people do believe now that differences in your in, in your personalities we actually ruin your marriage they're like i ah, know these two guys are uh, they're too different this guy likes this this one doesn't like this and that it's going to become an automatic a point to you know to ruin the marriage no it doesn't work no out. i think um it's not all about when you have a similar interest that makes marriage. No. we are all a different entity we all have you can actually have different the differences, you know, in your uh, uh, point of view about life, and you still have a very good marriage. It is called understanding your partner, understanding your uh, your partner, uh, trying to know when and how to engage on things, on situations, you know. You don't want to engage your husband or your wife at all times. Of course, conflict is going to come up. Yeah, you know your partner for who she is. You know your husband or your wife for who he or she is. Understanding that and trying to work your way around it. Period. That's it. It sounds a little bit difficult, but it's actually easy if you guys understand each other. Understanding is the key in this factor. Know the person you're married to understand the person you're married to of course you're going to love the person you're married to and you should be able to at a point in time step back just for peace to reign that's it okay. really very common and really you know it's really very funny that the first year of marriage is always the easiest and the and sweetest, the sweetest. Okay. <laughs> oh my god that's another is a, a myth really the first year of marriage is not it's not always easy because it has to do with a lot of a lot of studying and a lot of learning you know to to get to understand yourself better and also it depends on your expectation from from the marriage i think i love that i, I think i love that point it depends on your expectations from your marriage now god help us you know the first year of marriage you don't you don't just believe uh, because it's the first time you guys are yeah, yeah, some believe yeah you're yeah, on the honeymoon <laughs> it doesn't work that way you know one it depends on how much you guys want to make your marriage work and how much you guys are praying towards you know the success of your marriage it depends on how much you guys are committed to make your marriage work. It depends on the impute, impute you guys are putting into the marriage to make it work. That's it. It doesn't really matter. It could be one year. It could be the tenth year. It could be you know any any time. A marriage that will not work will not work. Of course, we don't pray that any of our marriages don't work. So that is it. So it's not about the fact that it's the first year of marriage uh, and everything's going to be going rosy and at the second year now things will start getting worse no it doesn't work that way that's just reality Yeah, that's another myth and it's really very funny. What I want to say about that is that it is not about the fact that you have children or because you're beginning to have or grow a bigger family and now children are started coming or they started to come in, then you believe that no, yes, this marriage is solid and it's gonna be forever. No, no. I've seen countless Christians, please permit me to use that Christian marriage, countless ones with kids three four five six kids and they're still separated so it has nothing to do with kids being conscious being determined being intentional about your marriage from day one is what matters in marriage it's not about maybe the children start coming in. listen even most times when the children start coming in it's, it gets worse of God. No, no. Do you know why I said it gets worse? Because, of course, 
you see that you you have your wife don't even really have the, that you know the time for that time for your son you again. your sons your daughters yeah. are already coming in and you have to give them the attention mm. before you know it's a week it might even pass before you even have time for your wife to like you behold the beauty of your wife and you know baby i love you you know because things you're going to work things this is just the reality things are just unfolding you know your kids are growing up right in your presence and all those things so most times it's even the opposite that actually works you know that comes up so it's not because you're giving oh uh, you already have kids and that you think your relationship is sealed every of these points we have given mind you it all depends solely on God and how much of our input we are putting into our marriage, please. And it's, I think that should be the takeaway from this video, you know. How much are you ready to make your marriage work? Both of you, that's it, you know. There are myths that we need to just know that it's there, but it's not always like that. Guys that are just waiting on to God and those that are ready to come into marriage, I believe we must have blessed you a little bit with our you know, video about myths that you feel, you know, it's actually what marriage is. Meanwhile, it's not what marriage is. I hope we've been able to break down this myth out of so many other myths, you know, about marriage. And I hope you love this video and I hope you have learned something, you know, about the video. And if you did like this video, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And subscribe. Yeah. So the next time we're going to see you in our next video. Take care of yourself and stay safe.